immortal, invisible, the only wise God, the one who was, who is, and who is to come, Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end. Like a bride will say to our groom, can you begin to say sweet things to Jesus? Jesus, you are beautiful. You are so sweet, Lord. Let heaven hear your voice. Let heaven hear your voice. Without the song, let praise rise to heaven. Let praise rise to heaven. Let heaven hear your voice. Sing. 
congregational worship together. Jehovah Emmanuel. Join them to sing hallelujah.
question. If God had done anything for them,
with faith because this is who we are. Amen. Amen. I am a harvester. 
I can hear that. I am a harvester. I block daily. I love being with Jesus, loving like Jesus, and going like Jesus. My daily devotion in prayer and the word, fasting, wor worship, giving to the Lord, listening to the Holy Spirit are my priorities. I enjoy my daily time of fellowship with the Lord. I am focused on God and I grow in my love for Him. I belong to a loving and caring family of God. And I contribute my share in love and honor to my brothers and sisters in Christ. I am genuine, caring, and authentic. I do not misrepresent the gospel. I prioritize others. I fellowship with them in love give to them, visit them, and eat with them. I pray for them and play with them as we celebrate and support one another. I love going like Jesus. I'm a part of Christ's laborers to reap the harvest. I evangelize the unsaved and bring them to experience the love of Christ. I follow up and disciple new converts and young believers, modeling Christ to them and teaching them God's word. If that is who you are, come on, give God a shout this morning. Hallelujah. Look to your right, look to your left and welcome somebody to church this morning. Tell him, oh, you, your shirt is lovely, your shoes are nice. You look good. Welcome to church. Ask, how was the week? And paraventure, you don't know that neighbor's name. Ask for the neighbor's name. Ask Femi, how was the week? And tell the person it's going to be a lovely service. Praise the name of the Lord. And also welcome our online members this morning. Let's also welcome our online members. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Shall we just take our seat as we listen I've received the ministry of the Grace Crew.
Bangkok B. Bangkok B is the English translation of Bangkok B. You see, the spectacular. It's the great. It's the extraordinary. It's an extraordinary God. It's the huge one. It, it, it means massive. It means indescribable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give God glory! to Jerusalem and David was dancing and as he danced and danced his robe was moving he was dancing and dancing and his wife who was a princess and then became a queen looked at David who was a shepherd boy that became a king and said to him see the way you were dancing like one of those mere men like you were dancing like an ordinary person you were dancing like a vain man and David said something like well I well I could like David said you know it's not your fault he says I was dancing before the one that saw every member of your father's family and chose me instead of them is the one I am dancing before it's the one I am dancing before. It's the one I am dancing before. It's the one I'm moving before. It's the one I'm grateful. Grateful.
before him. Let your spirit worship. Let your spirit worship. Koboran de Bosha. Endos to Cobra. Endo Lobra Bosos. We bow before you. We worship at your feet. We worship at your feet. You deserve the glory. You deserve the praise. You deserve it. You deserve it.
just walked in on us. He's here. He's here. And every gate must be beside you this morning. It doesn't matter who is in front of you. This is holy moment. Hey, God has walked in on us. In every day he's on So every day he's on the lion
lift up those hands to him. Lift up your hands to him. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. Somebody is still saying, what are we doing this morning? We're worshiping. We're worshiping. And we worship you. You are God. That's why we're here. We came to worship you. You are God. So we came. We came.
stop, Lord. We won't stop praising you. We won't stop loving you forever and ever. Forever and ever. We won't stop seeking you. We won't stop seeking you. Serving you. We won't stop serving you. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Because he won't stop blessing you. And he won't stop lifting you. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. I hear the Lord say that he won't stop keeping you. He won't stop loving you. Forever and ever. Hey, so what are we gonna do? So we won't stop. We won't stop praising you. So we won't stop loving you. Forever and ever. Hey, forever and ever. Because he won't stop. He won't stop blessing you.
the mighty one of Israel is with you. He won't stop. Hey, he won't stop. He said, I should tell you that he won't stop. Helping you know he won't stop. Healing you know he won't stop. Lifting you know he won't stop. Blessing you he won't, he won't stop. Loving you he won't, he won't stop. No, my God will not stop. He won't stop. No, Jesus won't stop. He won't stop. Loving you, yes, no. He won't stop. No, the Lord won't stop. He won't stop. In your marriage, he won't stop. He won't stop. In your family, he won't stop. He won't stop. Over your children, he won't stop. He won't stop. All the days of your life, he won't. He won't stop. Your God will never stop. He won't stop. In your health, he won't stop. He won't stop. In your home, he won't stop. He won't stop. In your life, he won't stop. He won't stop. Global harvest, he yeah. won't stop. He won't stop. Global harvest, he won't stop. He won't stop. Global harvest, he won't stop. He won't stop. No, the Lord won't stop. He won't stop. Lord, we thank you. We know you will not stop. You will not stop. Hallelujah. He's unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. He won't stop. do the same thing the same way so when we're coming into the second service I was asking Lord how do you want this service to go because it's not copy and paste no if you've ever been to the to the sea before to the to the beaches you see the waves come we don't create waves we just enjoy them we ride them the Lord brings the water you just ride on it so as we came into the service, I was just saying, Lord, how do you want it to go? And then the river came. The water started flowing. And I know what the Lord started doing. Is that he started healing people. Started delivering people. Started setting the captives free. He started lifting the burdens off your heart. He started lifting the burdens off your shoulder. The weight was being lifted off your life. He started giving you a hope for a tomorrow started giving you light for tomorrow insight started coming by the time you're out of this service somebody's going to check your body and the sickness is gone because the Lord is healing you right now in fact you are healed already you are healed already somebody is leaving this meeting and you will get home and there's a miracle with your name there's a blessing with your name at work tomorrow it's your name on it a blessing at work with your name on it promotion lifting help from heaven in the name of Jesus by the time you get home you will see something has happened the email has come the text message has come the good news is here in the name of Jesus your visa has been approved provision has come in the name of Jesus it's been released now in the name of Jesus the Lord is working this week you will see the goodness of the Lord you will come back rejoicing come back testifying in the mighty name of Jesus the enemy you saw before you will see them no more see the hand of God like you've never seen it so I call you blessed 
blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when you go out, blessed when you come in. In the name of Jesus, I usher you into a new season of God's favor, of God's lifting, of God's blessings. In the name of Jesus, I say to you, where you are today is the least you will ever be. Now your business is moving higher from the thousand flow to the million flow from the million flow to the billion flow in the name of Jesus that business is moving from only Naira to Forex to dollars to pounds international doors in the name of Jesus I declare lifting promotion on that job in the name of Jesus the Lord our God begins to lift you from entry level to mid management to senior management to the hierarchies in the name of Jesus the hand of the Lord is lifting you up lifting you up lifting you up in the name of Jesus by the grace of God you are blessed in all things everywhere you turn favor everywhere you turn blessings in the name of Jesus you will hear good news from a far country you will hear good news over your wife, over your husband, over your children. Wherever you go, good news. You will hear good news. They will hear good news concerning you. The entire family is testimonies upon testimonies in the name of Jesus. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. God will satisfy you with long, healthy life and show you his salvation in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Any gathering against your life, they are scattered now in the name of Jesus. I declare every opposition bows before you in the name of Jesus. I bless you today and if there's anybody here that somebody has spoken evil against you spoken evil against your children I stand in the name of Jesus upon this grace upon this altar and I declare every of such utterances are cancelled in the name of Jesus every negative word spoken against your life spoken against your destiny they are cancelled in the name of Jesus it is well with you you will do well you will do well you will be proud of yourself in the name of Jesus one of our daughters came to me some years ago and she said pastor I'm about to travel but I'm afraid because some people have said I will not do well I'm a, nah, she's even afraid of herself she wasn't sure she could be strong in the Lord she could stand as a Christian she could hold her own she will do well I think it must be some six years ago now and she's doing well to the glory of God standing strong to the glory of God and I'm speaking over someone you will do well even you will be surprised you will do better than you imagined you will do better financially you will do better spiritually you will be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might you will make disciples you will start a missionary community you will serve the Lord all the days of your life in the name of Jesus our God will preserve you you will do well maritally you will do well as a business person whatsoever you do it shall prosper by the grace of God you will not be numbered among the failures you are numbered among the success in the mighty name of Jesus among successful people you will be successful The Lord said, I should tell someone, you are not going down, you are going up. It does not matter how the devil has threatened you. You are not going down, you are going up. For our God is the glory and the lifter up of our head. He lifts your head up high. By the grace of God, you will do better than you've ever done. 
Your life will move from glory to glory, from victory to victory, from praise to praise. In the name of Jesus, I see a greater day. I see a brighter day. I see a fulfilled you. I see a grateful you. When you look at the mirror, you will be proud of yourself. You will be grateful for what the Lord has done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. First Peter 2.9. It says, because you are a chosen generation. God picked you. God selected you. God wanted you. That's why he brought you here. You're not here by accident. You are chosen. Chosen. And picked. Selected. Brought near by the Lord. A chosen generation. You're royal priesthood. You're a holy nation. You are his own special. Even when you don't feel special, it does not change the fact that you are special. Even when you don't act special, it does not change the fact that you are special. God said you are special to me. You are important to me. You are precious to me. You are special to me. I know the devil has told you there is nothing good about you, but the devil is a liar. You are special to God. Even if your parents never treated you special, your spouse, my God, you are married and your spouse treated you like you are nothing. The devil is a liar. You are special to God. I don't care where you walk. If they make you feel like you are you're insignificant, they are liars. You are special to God. Special to God. Special. You're important to Him. And His grace is at work in your life. And He won't stop blessing you. He won't stop helping you. He won't stop loving you. He will not stop lifting you. So we won't stop praising Him. We won't stop serving Him. We won't stop seeking Him. We won't stop loving him. We will not stop. He will not stop. By his grace, we will not stop. We will serve him all the days of our lives. We will worship him all the days of our lives. Clap your hands and give him praise and glory. Clap your hands and give him praise and glory. Our response to him is that Lord, we too, we will not stop. We will serve you all our days. We will worship you all our days. We will magnify you all our days. We will rejoice before you all our days. We will. And that's why when I come to church, it doesn't matter who's beside me. Now, me, I won't stop. I, I made up my mind. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to dance. I'm going to shout. I'm going to rejoice. I'm not going to stop. And my own, when I get home, I'm going to dance. I won't stop. I won't stop. Whatever is in the bank account, it will change for the better. I won't stop. I won't stop praising him. He won't stop. So I won't stop. He won't stop. Every head bowed and every eye closed for a minute. There's somebody here today who needs to give that life to Jesus. You know, you know God loves you. Even you know God loves you. It's time to respond to his love. It's time to give your heart to him. Or if you're backslidden, it's time for you to rededicate your life to Jesus. To reconnect with your father. To reconnect with your maker. Wherever you are in the building. I don't want you to be ashamed. I don't want you to be afraid. He loves you. He loved you. I responded to his love. And I'm still responding. He won't stop. So by his grace, I won't stop. I won't. By his grace, I won't. Please, everybody, just close your eyes for a minute. Don't look at nobody. Don't look at nobody. If you're here and say, Pastor, pray with me. I want to give my life to Jesus. Or I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. I'm going to count to three. At the count of three, raise that hand. Though it does not matter who is beside you. I don't care if you came here with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. It makes no difference. You are here before the Lord today. Every eye closed for a minute. Pastor, pray with me. I want to give my life to Jesus in the gallery, on the, front, on the ground floor, wherever you are. At the count of three, raise that hand before the Lord and don't be ashamed of him. Are you ready? One, two, three. Raise your hand if you want to give your life to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. God bless you, my sister. Raise it. If you want to rededicate your life to Christ, raise it before the Lord. It does not matter who is there today. It's your day with the Lord. Raise it and don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Thank you, Father. God bless you, my brother. He sees you where you are. 
He sees you where you are. He sees you where you are, my sister. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, I pray for my brother and my sister whose hands are up before you today. And I ask Holy Spirit that you come into this heart, Lord. Thank you because you are even there already. At work in them already. Father, forgive us our sins. Forgive them every unrighteousness. Wash them in your precious blood. And Father, let these lives become brand new. That they may serve you all their days. Because you won't stop. That they too will not stop loving you. Not stop seeking you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your work, oh God. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. So one of our brothers and sisters are going to help you and help you with the sinner's prayer as you give your life to Jesus, as you, as you confess the Lord with your mouth. So when they come to you, please just walk with them so that we can help you and you can grow in your knowledge of God. Everyone, would you rise for a minute, one more minute and stay with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you because you won't stop. You won't stop loving me. You won't stop. You won't stop. You won't stop. You won't stop keeping me. Tell him what you believe he will not stop doing. Tell him what you believe he won't stop. I know you will not stop protecting me. You will not stop, Father. I thank you because I know you will not stop. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I know you will not stop. And Lord, help me not to stop. Help me not to stop. I won't stop praising you. I won't stop loving you. I won't stop seeking you. I won't stop serving you. Help me all the days of my life never to stop loving you. Never to stop loving you. By your grace, I won't stop. By your grace, I won't stop. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give our lives to you afresh. Thank you. Because you're able to keep us from falling, from stumbling, and present us blameless before your presence. Thank you, Father. We love you. Thank you for loving us. Hello precious ones, 
This is Global Habit News and I have no update February schedule. Today on our mission update, a mission community hangout was this evening across all our centers within the city. Time remains 4 p.m. If you are yet to be part of one, can you visit the help desk to know the one closest to you? And as you step out this week, we encourage you to consciously share the message of Jesus and disciple a friend. You can pick up tracts and church invites at the help desk. Moving on to a spiritual development update. Today on our Bible Challenge, we are studying the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. We encourage you to stay on course as the entrance of God's words illuminates your paths this season. Start your day with precision and godly direction by joining us at our morning prayers which run from Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Streaming live on Facebook, YouTube and MixLR at GACHQ. It's your turn to testify. Also is our prayer service prayers this Wednesday by 5.30 p.m. and the midweek service by 6 p.m. Don't come alone. Invite a friend. And on our general update, good news. We celebrate the arrival of a baby boy to the family of Mr. and Mrs. Marco Juala Obushini. And also the arrival of a baby boy to the family of Mr. and Mrs. Emmanuel Okumwade. We also celebrate the arrival of a set of twin boys to the family of Mr. and Mrs. Benjo. Indeed, the Lord is faithful. We are unstoppable. To our MC leaders in the house, the continuation of our missionary community leaders training will take place this Saturday, October 21st by 11 a.m. in the church auditorium. Prepare and plan to be there. There is a shift in the atmosphere erupted in a new season of impact. On Sunday, 22nd October, prepare to be inspired, empowered and uplifted at our 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. services as we host Pastor Wisdom with Siri for a unique time of teaching and revelation turret through wisdom. Don't miss this impactful opportunity to usher in a new season of victory, growth and transformation. It's time to step into destiny. Invite a friend. Now later in the evening by 4 p.m., still on Sunday the 22nd October, it will be an all-made affair here within the Grace Cathedral for the Man Thing Summit. Please take a listen. Hello there, my name is Godman Akinlabi, Global Lead Pastor of the Elevation Church in Lagos, and it's my pleasure to invite you to the Man Thing Summit. Hello friends, I would like to invite you specially to the Man Thing Summit. Man. Man has been described as an enigma. What defines him? What makes him afraid? What makes him tick? In fact, the Bible says, what is man? Find out at the Man Thing Summit. Pastor Osiri Wisdom is the convener. Hi, I'm Osiri Wisdom, the convener of the Man Thing Summit. Over the years, I've consistently been a part of, you know, it is amplifying and helping men to become the best they can possibly be. Hello everyone, I am Femi Aladisoni, lead pastor, Global Harvest Church, Liberty Road, Ibano. And I'm so excited that we have the privilege of hosting the Man Things Summit, put together by my dear brother, the convener, Pastor Wisdom Osiri of the Wisdom Place for Taco. Thank God it's after service, Sunday 22nd by 4 p.m. Let's come together and let's do what only men can do. All right, so if you're in the city, make sure you're there. It's the man thing. You want to be there. Awesome. We encourage you to make it a date. This week, may the Lord supply you with strength and may He bless you with peace. Amen. Psalm 29 at the 11th verse. 
Those are the announcements from us this morning. Please stop by at the app desk for further details. You can also stay abreast for more on our social media account during the week. If you're not yet plugged in, connect with us on our Facebook, YouTube and MixLR at GECHQ. Whilst you are there, don't just watch. Please subscribe, like and share. That way more people will get to see it and be blessed through our content. have the privilege of hosting the Man Thing Summit, put together by my dear brother, the convener, Pastor Wisdom Osiri of the Wisdom Place Port Harcourt. Thank God it's after service, Sunday 22nd by 4 p.m. Let's come together and let's do what only men can do. All right, so if you're in the city, make sure you're there. It's the Man Thing. You want to be there. We encourage you to make it a date. This week, May the Lord supply you with strength and may he bless you with peace. Amen. Psalm 29 and 11 verse. Those are the announcements from us this morning. Please stop by at the app desk for further details. You can also stay abreast for more on our social media account during the week. If you're not yet plugged in, connect with us on our Facebook, YouTube and MixLR at GECHQ. While you are there, don't just watch. Please subscribe, like and share. That way, more people will get to see it and be blessed through our content. Till I see you next time, keep the fire burning. Hallelujah. Shall we receive our pastor, Pastor Femi Aladu Sami, as he closes the service this morning? Pastor Lord started a message last week, Wednesday. He's going to be concluding it this Wednesday. You want to be sure to be in church. And if you're out of town, please tune in and be blessed with that message. And next week, Sunday, just like we saw on the flyer, we're going to be hosting Pastor Wisdom Osiri from the Wisdom Place, Port Harcourt. And um, we have the pleasure of having him in the two services in the morning. Okay, and then by 4 p.m. is going to be here for the Man Thing Summit. It's the summit that actually brought him to town, uh, but we have the privilege of having him with us in the morning. And then 4 p.m. by the evening, we are all here. So if you're a man in the house, can I hear you say amen? So next week, Sunday, in fact, because of the Man Thing Summit, there will be no MC meeting next week, Sunday. Okay, so that we can all be here and, and enjoy this wonderful time. All Global Harvest churches are part of it. All, all our members everywhere are going to be. I said our members everywhere. Hey, everywhere. They're going to be here. All the men in the city are going to be here. So um, we, we need to plan and prepare for them. 
immediately after the service, I'd like to meet all the men. We're expecting over a thousand men here. So we need to be prepared um, properly for, for that. So immediately after now, kindly come towards the side of the building so we can have a quick catch up towards that. If there's a man beside you, tell that person, say PF needs to see you after this service. And, and tell the person, say next week Sunday, by 4 p.m., you should be here. I, I told them in the first service, I'm going to say it again. If by 3.30 next week Sunday, your husband is not preparing to come for the meeting, just send me his phone number. You just say, Pastor, he's still at home. Send his phone number. I will call. Don't worry. Just send me the number. I will graciously call him. Okay? I say, Oga, oh, Oga, oh, what are you doing? Madam says, go. <laughs> Otherwise, no show. Praise God. So come home. I'm telling you, if you don't come, if you don't come for the, sorry, single people, amen, don't, 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 don't worry about some of those conversations, but, but come, um, but seriously, you, you need to be there, okay, um, next week, uh, next week Wednesday, next week Wednesday, we're going to be having the MC special on the 25th, it's the last Wednesday of the month, so midweek service is going to be holding at the MC centers, amen. We had a beautiful one in the month of August and uh, of September. And then, was it September, August? August, right? August. Yeah, it was the last Wednesday of August. So we're doing another one um, this month. And so if you do not belong to any MC, you need to belong to one. Otherwise, there's no midweek service for you in two weeks' time. Okay? We won't be here and we're not going to be on the social media platform. You need to join one. All right, you need to join. Let me ask your neighbor, do you belong to an MC? The person says, what is MC? He says, it's not master of ceremony. It is missional community. Eh? Missional community. And um, so you, you want to, you, you know, be part of one. I thought for, for all um, our brethren outside Nigeria, if you can have an MC, we'll send you the same material that we're going to be using for that MC. So if you can form an, a missional community where you are, we'll send you the message, we'll send you the material you need to have a wonderful missional community so we can be a part of it as well. Okay, kindly rise. Oh, go to the Lamb. To the Lamb. So I understand the, 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 the man thing is not for married men, it's for men. If you are M-A-N, a, a, a he, male, gender, original, yeah. praise God. If you are, if I, he, he, then, then, then you, you, <laughs> praise God. <laughs> so. Okay, so if you're he, please, after the service, let, let me see you here. Male, female, I mean, male, single, and married male, man. Um, let me see you here, really after now. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Somebody said, where are they getting all these fine t-shirts from? What a shock. Oh, you just get to the bookshop and book your own. Amen. If you like, what a shocking shock. You, you, you just, just go there and get your t-shirt, okay? Praise God. Where's the bookshop? Okay, just at the entrance by the by the children's church there. You can start. Beju will be more than glad. She even had her hands on a hoodie. Beju, come here. When I saw her hoodie this morning, I said, ah, ah, what a shock. She, she shocked me this morning with her own because... I thought mine was the finest until I saw hers. Yeah. Okay. All right. So God bless you. You can get it whichever way you want, okay? Amen. What a shocking shock. Yeah, what a shock. Amen. And, and you know you know what Mark 16, 17 says, right? He says, this time shall follow them that believe from verse 16. In my name, they will cast out. Themselves. So even you can't have that. Till I see you next time. 
Keep the fire. Oh, thank you. 